fiesta, fiesta, fiesta. Continuamente en mí hay una fiesta, fiesta, fiesta. Desde que a Cristo yo conocí. Todos juntos. Este es el Cristo que yo predico y no me canso de predicar. Él sana a los enfermos, echa fuera demonios, me llena de felicidad. Todos juntos que se escuche. Y yo la lavaré. Con todo el corazón, y tú la lavarás, y tú la lavarás, y tú la lavarás, diciendo gloria a Dios. Hay una fiesta, fiesta, fiesta. Dice el salmista. El Señor ha estado grande con nosotros y estamos alegres. The psalmist says, El Señor ha estado con nosotros y the, estamos the alegres. The Lord has been with us and we are joyful. Y estamos alegres and, por este día en que nos unimos con la familia de Ángel. And we are happy to be here as we unite with the family of Angel. Por ese gran regalo que el Señor ha dado a Ángel de hoy ser sacerdote. For this gift that the Lord has given Angel to be a priest. Y todos debemos seguir orando. And we should all be praying. Para que en cada comunidad de fe. So that in every community of faith. Surjan cada día nuevas vocaciones. More vocations can rise. La iglesia necesita sacerdotes. The church needs priests. Diáconos. Deacons. Y laicos activamente participando en la iglesia. And lay people that are actively working for the church. Todo requiere una llamada del Señor. All requires a calling of the Lord. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you. So let us enter into the liturgy together in worship. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Has he been selected in accordance with the canons of this church? And do you believe his manner of life to be suitable to the exercise of this ministry? We certify to you that we have satisfied the requirements of the canon, and we believe him to be qualified for this order. Anga, will you be loyal to the doctrine, discipline, and worship of Christ as this church has received them? And will you, in accordance with the canons of this church, obey your bishop and other ministers who may have authority over you and your work? I am willing and ready to do so. And I humbly declare that I will believe the Holy Scriptures of the Old and New Testament to be the Word of God and to contain all things necessary to salvation. And I do solemnly engage to conform to the doctrine, discipline, and worship of the Episcopal Church. Please come and sign the declaration. Congregation, please stand. Dear friends in Christ, 
you know the importance of this ministry and the weight of your responsibility in presenting Angelesus Lopez for ordination to the sacred priesthood. Therefore, if any of you know any impediment or crime because of which we should not proceed, come forward now and make it known. Is it your will that Angel Jesus Lopez be ordained a priest? Yes. Will you uphold him in this ministry? Yes. Kneeling together in peace, let us pray to the Lord. God the Father, have mercy on us. God the Son, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. We pray to you, Lord Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Church of God, that it may be filled with truth and love and be found without fault at the day of your coming, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of your church in their vocation and ministry, that they may serve you in a true and godly life, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Michael, our presiding bishop, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be filled with your love, may hunger for truth, and may thirst after righteousness, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Angel, chosen priest in your church, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That he may faithfully fulfill the duties of this ministry, build up your church, and glorify your name, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That by the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, he may be sustained and encouraged to persevere to the end, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for his family, that they may be adorned with all Christian virtues, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease and that all may be one as you and the Father are one, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may be it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not yet believe and for those who have lost their faith, that they may receive the light of the gospel. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the peace of the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in positions of public trust, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity and freedom of every person. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a blessing upon all human labor and for the right use of the riches of creation, that the world may be freed from poverty, famine, and disaster. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and for all who suffer, for refugees, prisoners, and all who are in danger, that they may be relieved and protected, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves, for the forgiveness of our sins, and for the grace of the Holy Spirit to amend our lives, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the communion of your church, for those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints, they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God of unchangeable power and eternal light, 
look favorably on your whole church, that wonderful and sacred mystery. By the effectual working of your providence, carry out in tranquility the plan of salvation. Let the whole world see and know that things which were being cast down are being raised up, and things which had grown old are being made new, and that all things are being brought to their perfection by him through whom all things were made. Your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the reading of scripture. Lectura del libro de los hechos de los apóstoles. Se reunieron en Jerusalén los jefes de los judíos, los ancianos y los maestros de la ley. Allí estaban también el sumo sacerdote Anás, Caifás, Juan, Alejandro y todos los que pertenecían a la familia de los sumos sacerdotes. Ordenaron que les llevaran a Pedro y a Juan, y poniéndolos en medio de ellos, le preguntaron, ¿Con qué autoridad o en nombre de quién han hecho ustedes estas cosas? Pedro, lleno del Espíritu Santo, les contestó, Jefes del pueblo y ancianos, ustedes nos preguntan acerca del bien que he hecho a un enfermo, para saber de qué manera ha sido sanado. Pues bien, declaramos ante ustedes y ante todo el pueblo de Israel que este hombre que está aquí delante de todos ha sido sanado en el nombre de Jesucristo de Nazaret, el mismo a quien ustedes crucificaron y a quien Dios resucitó. Este Jesús es la piedra que ustedes los constructores despreciaron, pero que se ha convertido en la piedra principal. En ningún otro hay salvación, porque en todo el mundo Dios no nos ha dado otra persona por la cual podamos salvarnos. Palabra del Señor. Demos gracias a Dios. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 23. El salmo para el día de hoy es Salmo 23. We'll read all the verses in unison. I will read first verse in English, followed by the second verse in Spanish, etc. Voy a empezar con inglés y espero que todos ustedes participen. Con el inglés si pueden, y luego seguiremos la segunda con español. Por favor, también siguen en español, porque trataré de hacerlo alternado. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. En verdes pastos me hace yacer, me conduce a las aguas tranquilas. He revives my soul and guides me along right with for his name's sake. Aunque ande en el valle de sombra de muerte, no temeré el mal gum, porque tú estás conmigo, tu vara y tu cabello me impugnan aliento. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Ciertamente en bien 
y en misericordia me seguirá todos los días de mi vida. Y en la casa del Señor moraré por largos días. A reading from the first letter of John, 1 John chapter 3, verses 16 to 24. We know love by this, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God love abides in anyone who has the world goods and see a brother or sister in need and yet refuses help? Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this, we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God and we receive him from him whatever we ask because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them, and by this, we know that he abides in us by the spirit that he has given us, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. Proclamación del Santo Evangelio según San Juan. A ti, Cristo Señor. Jesús dijo, yo soy el buen pastor. El buen pastor da la vida por las ovejas, pero el que trabaja solamente por la paga. Cuando ve venir al lobo, deja las ovejas y huye, porque no es el pastor y porque las ovejas no son suyas. Y el lobo ataca a las ovejas y las dispersas en todas direcciones. Ese hombre huye porque lo único que le importa es la paga y no las ovejas. Yo soy el buen pastor. Así como mi padre me conoce y yo lo conozco y conozco a mi padre, así también yo conozco a mis ovejas y ellas me conocen a mí. Yo doy mi vida por las ovejas. También tengo otras ovejas que no son de este redil y también ellas 
debo atraerlas. Ellas me obedecerán y formarán un solo rebaño con un solo pastor. El Padre me ama porque yo doy mi vida para volverla a recibir. Nadie me quita la vida, sino que yo la doy por mi propia voluntad. Tengo el derecho de darla y de volver a recibirla. Esto es lo que ordenó mi Padre. Evangelio de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Te alabamos Cristo Señor. Oremos, let us pray. Gracious God, thank you that we can gather together in the name of your Son, Jesus. Open our hearts and minds to his presence. Work in us that which you desire. Trabaja en nosotros aquello que tú deseas. And so we say, speak, Lord, your servants are listening. Y así decimos, habla, Señor, tus siervos te escuchan. For it is in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, that we pray. Porque es en el nombre de nuestro Señor Jesucristo que oramos. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. It is a joy to be with you this morning. Es una gran alegría estar aquí con ustedes en esta mañana. And I hope you think this is a joyous occasion. Esperamos que ustedes también empiecen a pensar que esto es un, una ocasión de mucha alegría. This is a fiesta. Esto es una fiesta. It is a celebration because God is giving us a new servant. Es una celebración porque Dios nos está dando un nuevo siervo. A leader whom we hope will love us. Un líder que esperamos que nos ame. Care for us. Nos cuide. And show us how we are to live according to the teaching of Jesus. Enseñe cómo debemos vivir según las enseñanzas de nuestro Señor Jesús. The lesson for today is about the good shepherd. La lección del día de hoy es esa del buen pastor. And Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. Jesús dice, yo soy el buen pastor. But he talks about someone else. Pero él habla también de otra persona. The hired hand. La mano que ha sido eh, elevada. Perdón. The hired hand thinks only about himself. Esa persona solamente piensa en sí mismo. By contrast, the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Al contraste, el buen pastor deja su vida por sus ovejas. We are hoping and praying that the priests of this church are good shepherds. Nosotros estamos esperando y orando que los sacerdotes de esta iglesia sean buenos pastores. So here is the contrast. Aquí está el contraste. You know a shepherd is a good shepherd. Ustedes saben que un buen, un buen eh, pastor eh, lo, se puede reconocer. Because you know that he loves you. Porque sabes que te ama. He cares for you. Él se preocupa por ti. He is interested in your life. Él está interesado en tu vida. By contrast, por contraste, the hired hand, el elevado, he is only in it for the money. Ese solamente está en el lugar por el dinero. He will use you to get what he wants. Él va a salte a ti para poder obtener lo que quiere. He will demand his own way. Va a demandar su propio lugar. And he expects you to obey him. Y espera que tú lo obedezcas. Have you ever met a priest like that? ¿Has conocido algún sacerdote así? I have. Yo sí. But that is not who we want in Pero priesthood. Pero eso no es lo que queremos en la iglesia. You, you see, we have many people in the world who have been hurt because they have met priests who were really only hired hands. El, el mundo está lleno de personas que han sido heridos porque solamente han estado con sacerdotes que son de esos sacerdotes que se sienten más elevados. We need people who actually are willing to live like Jesus. Nosotros necesitamos personas que de verdad quieran vivir como Jesús. 
And that requires a change of heart. Y eso requiere un cambio de corazón. What we are praying, even for angel, y estamos orando aún también por ángel, is that God would actually make his heart different. Que Dios haga el corazón de ángel diferente. That God would give him a supernatural love for the people that he serves. Que Dios le dé un amor supernatural para las personas a las que él va a estar sirviendo. Because if you know that the priest loves you, porque si tú sabes que tu sacerdote te ama, you will work with him. Vas a querer trabajar con ese sacerdote. You will follow his lead. Vas a seguir su liderazgo. You will trust him. Vas a tener confianza en él. Because you know that he cares for porque you. Porque sabes que, te, que se preocupa por ti. But if the priest, if, if you do not know that the priest loves you, si tú no sabes que tu sacerdote te ama, you might respect him. A lo mejor lo respetas. But that does not mean you will share your heart with him. Esto no quiere decir que vas a sentirte libre de, de eh, compartir tu corazón con él. And when that happens to you, when you do not trust your leader, y cuando eso pasa, cuando tú no confías en tu líder, who is supposed to represent Jesus to you, está supuesto representar a nuestro Señor Jesús a ti, not only is your heart hardened no solamente se, se, se fría tu corazón to the priest, hacia el sacerdote, but there is even some resentment that you have toward Jesus. Hay un resentimiento que tomamos hacia Jesús. And you don't trust the church. Y empiezas a no confiar en la iglesia. Because why would somebody like that be ordained to the priesthood? Porque por qué una persona así va a ser ordenada al sacerdote? And so we might, the church might continue to function. A lo mejor la iglesia continúa funcionando. But there's no joy. Pero no hay alegría, no hay gozo. There's no laughter. No hay risa. There is no fiesta, no celebration. No fiesta, no celebración. Because to celebrate together para celebrar juntos means that we trust each other. Decir que nos confiamos unos a los we enjoy each other's company. Que nos goza estar en la compañía el uno. We care about one another. Nos preocupamos los unos por los otros. So you can come to a church Puedes entrar a una iglesia. And the music may be beautiful. Y, y la música puede ser preciosa. The clergy looks splendid. El clero se ve muy bien, espléndido. But it can still feel cold. Pero todavía se puede sentir frío. When there is no love. Cuando no hay amor. We want places that are filled with love. Queremos lugares que esté lleno del amor. Where people care about each other. Donde las personas se, se preocupan unos por los otros. And how that happens. ¿Y cómo sucede eso? Is when the priest. Es cuando el sacerdote. Is someone who looks like Jesus. Alguien que se parece a Jesús. Who cares. Que se preocupa. Who loves. Que ama. Who laughs. Que se ríe. And cries. Y llora. With you. Contigo. With you. Contigo. You see, Angel, being a priest can break your heart. Ser un sacerdote puede romperte el corazón. It is not always easy. No va a ser siempre fácil. People will invite you in if they trust you into some very difficult places in their lives. Las personas te van a invitar a unos lugares donde van the, a confiar en ti en los más, sitios más difíciles de su vida. Things they might not tell anyone else. Cosas que a lo mejor no le van a decir a más nadie. But they tell you because they trust you. Pero te lo van a decir a ti porque confían. And they know that you love them. Y, tu, y saben que tú los amas. And when that happens, even though your heart breaks, tu se falta, what comes out is the love of God. Sale el amor de Dios. The breaking of the heart actually sets free the love of God to flow through you. Too many priests are too afraid to live with that kind of courage. Hay demasiado muchos sacerdotes que tienen miedo de vivir con esa clase de... de... Because... Go, I'm sorry, go ahead. Because to be a good shepherd takes courage. Porque para tener... Para ser un pastor bueno, tienes que tener eh, coraje, calor, valentía. So my invitation, Angel, to you, is to say yes to God changing your heart. So lo que le encomiendo a ti es que invites a Dios a cambiar tu corazón.
When we pray for you, Cuando oramos por ti, we are conferring authority over you estamos confiriendo autoridad sobre ti. to do things that you could not do before. Hacer cosas que no podías hacer antes. But the heart of being able to celebrate the Eucharist en el corazón de poder celebrar la Santa Eucaristía. To offer absolution. Res, eh, a ofrecer la absolución. To preside at services. Presidir en los servicios. Are all acts of sacrificial love. Son todos actos de amor sacrificial. If you can say that, yes to that. Si puedes decir sí a eso. Rather than merely seeing this as the giving of some authority. En vez de verlo como el dado de una autoridad, you will be the servant good shepherd that God has called you to be. Como el buen pastor que Dios te ha llamado ser. If you just see it as authority to be able to do things you could not do before, si solamente lo ves como autoridad de hacer cosas que no podías hacer antes, that means all you want is authority, not love. Decir que entonces lo único que quieres es autoridad y no amor. This is a call to love. Este es un llamado para amor. And to say yes to people even in very difficult places. Y para decirle sí a las personas en los lugares más difíciles. But also in wonderful places. Pero también en buenos sitios. To walk into someone's home and sit down and share a meal together. Poder entrar en, la, en el lugar de alguna persona y al, eh, eh, tener un alimento juntos. To laugh and tell stories with one another. Poder uh, hablar y decirse historias unos a los otros. Although, and I will say this to them, don't tell stories about your family unless you have their permission. No le digan, le aconsejo a ustedes, no le hablen a los sacerdotes historias que no tienen el permiso de sus familiares a contar. But they will want to know how you are as a father because they will want counsel about how to live with their children. Ellos van a querer saber cómo tú eres como un padre porque ellos van a necesitar consejo para cómo vivir con sus hijos. They will want to talk to you about marriage difficulties. Van a querer hablarte a ti sobre las situaciones de matrimonio. How you handle money. Como tú eh, bregas con las finanzas. And they will want to know that they can trust you with their money. Y ellos van a querer saber si pueden confiar en ti con su dinero. And that it will always be used to glorify God. Y que siempre va a ser usado para glorificar al Señor. Amen. So come, angel. Come and be a good shepherd. Venid, venid, angel. Ven y sé un buen pastor. That there is rejoicing here at St. John's Kissimmee. Que haya mucho gozo en St. John. That there is even more laughter. Que haya más risa. Even more fiesta celebrations. Fiestas y celebraciones. More sharing each other's stories. Compartir de sus historias. Because you're a family that God is bringing together. Porque ustedes son una familia que Dios está uniendo. Under the leadership that he has appointed. You. Bajo el liderazgo que ha sido asignado a él. Canon Luis. El Canon Luis. And the others that will also be raised up. Y otros que van a también a ser levantados. This community needs that kind of Christian witness. Esta comunidad necesita esa clase de testimonio cristiano. Because they know of churches that do not care. Porque saben de, de iglesias que no se preocupan. They need to know of a church that does care. Ellos necesitan conocer una iglesia que sí se preocupa. Jesus said that the world would know that you are my disciples. Jesús dijo que el mundo va a saber que ustedes son mis discípulos. If you love one another. Si se aman unos a los otros. And we need God to change our hearts. Y necesitamos que Dios cambie nuestros corazones. So that we can love one para another. Para que podamos amarnos unos a los otros. Which means enjoying each other's company. Que de significa eh, eh, gozarse en la compañía unos de los otros. Giving sacrificially for when, when one of us is in need. Dar sacrifi sacrificadamente cuando uno de nosotros estamos en necesidad. And doing all that we can to make sure that no one is ever alone. Y asegurando que nadie nunca esté solo. Especially in times of sickness and illness. Especialmente en tiempos de enfermedad. Angel, I'm delighted to preside at your ordination today. Estoy orgulloso de poder estar presidiendo en tu ordenación hoy, Angel. Because what I know of you. 
porque lo que cono te conozco you are the things that I described. tú eres de las personas que espero and because that's so porque eso es así I knew that God was calling you to the priesthood. yo sabía que Dios te estaba llamando a sacerdote so I'm very excited. estoy bien contento and give thanks to God y doy gracias a Dios that God loves us enough que Dios nos ama tanto to send us a good priest. Para mandarnos un buen sacerdote. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us offer together the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternal Father, born of the Virgin Mary, conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, the Son of God, 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 Please be seated. My brother, the church is the family of God, the body of Christ, and the temple of the Holy Spirit. All baptized people are called to make Christ known as Savior and Lord and to share in the renewing of his world. Now you are called to work as pastor, priest, and teacher together with your bishop and fellow presbyters, and to take your share in the councils of the church. As a priest, it will be your task to proclaim by word and deed the gospel of Jesus Christ, and to fashion your life in accordance with its precepts. You are to love and serve the people among whom you work, caring alike for young and old, strong and weak, rich and poor. You are to preach, to declare God's forgiveness to penitent sinners, to pronounce God's blessing, and to share in the administration of holy baptism and in the celebration of the mysteries of Christ's body and blood, and to perform the other ministrations entrusted to you. In all that you do, you are to nourish Christ's people from the riches of his grace and to strengthen them to glorify God in this life and in the life to come. My brother, do you believe that you are truly called by God and his church to this priesthood? I believe I am so called. Do you now, in the presence of the church, commit yourself to this trust and responsibility? I do. Will you respect and be guided by the pastoral direction and leadership of your bishop? I will. Will you be diligent in the reading and in the study of Holy Scriptures and in seeking the knowledge of such things as may make you a stronger and more able minister of Christ? I will. Will you endeavor so to minister the Word of God and the sacraments of the new covenant that the reconciling love of Christ may be known and received? I will. Will you undertake to be a faithful pastor to all whom you are called to serve, laboring together with them and with your fellow ministers to build up the family of God? I will. Will you do your best to pattern your life 
and that of your family in accordance with the teaching of Christ, so that you may be a wholesome example to your people? I will. Will you persevere in prayer, both in public and in private, asking God's grace, both for yourself and for others, offering all your labors to God through the mediation of Jesus Christ and in the sanctification of the Holy Spirit? I will. May the Lord, who has given you the will to do these things, give you the grace and power to perform them. Amen. Amen. Congregation, if you will please stand. We will be singing together the song that will follow, after which we will pray for our angel. Please kneel. God and Father of all, we praise you for your infinite love in calling us to be a holy people in the kingdom of your Son, Jesus our Lord, who is the image of your eternal and invisible glory, the firstborn of many brethren and the head of the church. We thank you that by his death, he has overcome death and having ascended into heaven, has poured his gifts abundantly upon your people, making some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry and the building up of his body. Therefore, Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son, give your Holy Spirit to Angel Jesus Lopez. Fill him with grace and power and make him a priest in your church. May he exalt you, O Lord, in the midst of your people. Offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to you. Boldly proclaim the gospel of salvation and rightly administer the sacraments of the new covenant. Make him a faithful pastor, a patient teacher, and a wise counselor. Grant that in all things he may serve without reproach so that your people may be strengthened and your name glorified in all the world. All this we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 Please stand. Now your vestments.
angel. Receive this Bible as, as a sign of the authority given to you to preach the word of God and to administer his holy sacraments. Do not forget the trust committed to you as a priest in the church of God. Please turn around. Please come up. Family of God, please greet joyfully your new priest and his family. And now please lead us in the peace. The peace be with you. And also with you. Please greet one another. If you're a baptized Christian, regardless of where you go to church, you are more than welcome to receive here. This is the Lord's table, and anyone who has made that commitment to him is more than welcome to come and receive. Todo aquel que esté aquí visitándonos y haya sido bautizado están invitados a recibir la Santa Comunión aunque participen en otras iglesias, en otras denominaciones. Después que sean bautizados están invitados a la mesa del Señor. I also would like to express my appreciation to Jackie Ponce for translating this morning. I'm so, I'm so overjoyed for your invitation. Thank you for trusting in me, Bishop. Thank She's you. fun to work with, by the way. <laughs> You're good. And also from our office, Canon Scott Holcomb, who is my Canon to the Ordinary, and Archdeacon Christy Alde, Archdeacon of the Diocese. Al Canon de Canon Scott Holcomb. And also to Canon Luis de la Cruz, who is my canon for Hispanic ministry, and grateful to him for his leadership here at St. John's. Also grateful for the other clergy who have come to be a part of this occasion. Our offertory sentence is walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us an offering and a sacrifice to God.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, for he is the true Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death, he has destroyed death. And by his rising to life again, he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love, you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal son, to share our human nature, to live and to die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us be Alleluia. 
the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Christ above hell. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 Let us offer the post communion prayer together. Oremos, let us pray. Almighty Father, we thank you for feeding us with the holy food of the body and blood of your Son and for uniting us through him in the fellowship of your Holy Spirit. We thank you for raising up among us faithful servants for the ministry of your word and sacraments. We pray that angel Jesus Lopez may be to us an effective example in word and action, in love and patience, and in holiness of life. Grant that we, with him, may serve you now and always rejoice in your glory through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, wow. one now, now and forever. Would you offer us the blessing? de Dios omnipotente, del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo, sea con ustedes y permanezca con ustedes eternamente. Amén. Yo tengo un gozo en mi alma Gozo en mi alma, gozo en mi alma y en mi ser, es como un hijo ¿Cómo dice? Vamos cantando. Gozo en mi alma, gozo en mi alma, en mi ser. Es como, es como un río de agua viva, río de agua viva, río de agua viva en mi alma y en mi ser.